In the National Guard, the drill sergeants build soldiers, but the people who build just about everything else are the engineers. My name's Sergeant First Class Henry. I'm a 21 Bravo combat engineer. This is a pretty exciting job because sometimes we get to build roads or bridges, and other times we get to blow stuff up. Putting up buildings, erecting bridges, or clearing obstacles. It's all part of your job as a member of the engineer field. From surveying and bulldozing to framing and wiring, engineers are responsible for taking any size construction or demolition project from beginning to end. Engineering projects can range from clearing, grading and paving roads to setting up entire operating bases for hundreds of soldiers. And combat engineers really put those skills to use in security operations where they're needed the most. Literally paving the way for armored and infantry divisions, you'll build the airstrips, roads and bridges necessary for rapid troop movement, as well as bunkers and gun emplacements for their protection. You could also learn how to oversee the safe clearing of mines and other explosive devices. When you're not in the battlefield, you might be at work with National Guard engineers in needy areas of the world, bringing water and electricity, building hospitals and schools, or, in our own country, you may assist guard soldiers responding to natural disasters, whether it's clearing debris from roads or getting power back into communities. Engineering in the Guard is great training for any career in construction. But more than that, it's a great job for anybody who wants to use their hands and skills to serve their country. The Guard has given me the confidence to go after any job, the skill to do it right, and the strength to carry through. Find out more about becoming an engineer in the National Guard today. Call 1-800-GO-GUARD or click on nationalguard.com to speak to a recruiter about your future.